Lapino had apparently managed to confuse the judge by arguing that he hadn't actually stolen a winged horse. He'd only sold it. But wait, where was the prison? The village was empty. Had, had everybody fled the ravens? And we are back. Look at, I love how it swings when you turn around. Can I just poison him? His blood was up. He just needed to smash something. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was the funnest thing ever. <laughs> Get me hooked still. Oh, hey, hello. Gems, what are you doing? Okay, um, come on. Yeah. Alright, um, so, I don't have any gems. Right. So, how about that? Look, butter. I need a lot of ore for that one. For every, <laughs> everyone. So. So, this looks like a farming community. Look down, he told himself. Don't look down. I wonder if I should have gone off somewhere. People were frightened these days. Just two weeks passed. Renardo had sneaked through an empty town and listened to the raven's call about the Emperor's new taste in ritual sacrifice. There we go. Oh, I shouldn't be picking those up. Darn. Firewalls only let you through if they think you're hot enough. Mm -hmm. Well, I did fall by picking that up, but at least now I know I can smash the shit. I'm not gonna smash those now, I think. Thank you. Oh, hello! Yeah, that's how you do it. Press on them. Turn in the hang of this. Ravens were landing everywhere. The advance guard. He'd better get moving. If they got to Lapino first, they'd eat him for breakfast. Or a snack. Ravens weren't picky. <laughs> if they got hungry, they sometimes forgot to interrogate their prisoners. Even top spies like Lapino. Where had the mad rabbit got to? <laughs> or yes, for a snack, who knows? <laughs> Hello. An ore, that's exactly what I wanted. Yeah. 
What way? What way? Hallelujah. That doesn't really matter. I get down anyway. Here I get more options though. And a chest. Bernardo checked for a false compartment. Nope. Nope. Right, so... Maybe I'm going the wrong way, who knows? Oh yeah, I leveled up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use that false Yes. No. Starting to come back to him. Something you never completely forgot. Like how to freeze time when attacking. The more he fought, the more he'd probably remember. Oh, okay. Might be slow when it can't be fast. And there we hook as well. Yeah, I'm getting the hang, hang of this now. Jeez. I come from not even knowing how to block it, or I knew how to block that I could block, but not how to reel it. Bernardo felt a chill run down his back. Or possibly a flea. Anyone else got bad? This. Ah, oh, if I were to level up that last 30. <laughs> Wrong sword. What am I looking for, though? Can't we just agree to disagree? Said Renato. No? <laughs> there we go. Why is it locked, though? I have no idea. Uh... Quite humorous, that's what I like. I like humor. Ooh, Dirty yeah. and bloody, Renato finally reached Lapino. The rabbit was practicing his shuffle. Renato recognized the cards. It was Lapino's favorite deck. Oh, I thought you were in danger. I am. The ravens are coming. Oh, the prison thing. Right, yeah, we see this guard owed me 53 ducats, so we made a deal. They're very reasonable people, actually, for weasels. Now, I got a brilliant plan to kidnap Zenobia. We capture Zenobia, we find out what she knows. And that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Capture the Emperor's greatest general, who also happened to be a deadly sorcerer and, oh, his only daughter. That would be worth it. On the other hand, he could still get to the core of the Sky Ripper, even if he couldn't get the whole thing. It must have great power. Hmm. 
A sorcerer? I'm not really happy about that. But you know, I think I think I can go with that path. Yes. It wasn't just the Emperor's daughter, of course. She'd been Renato's best friend in Swordfu school. And you're still mad for her. The rabbit reminded him. They'd been close. She'd told him things no one else knew. But she'd never told him who she really was. She knows all the Emperor's plans, chuckled the Master Spy. She won't give them up easily. <laughs> She'll tell the interrogators all right, said Lapino. Taking her would change the game all right. Might be a mistake, but hey ho, we're going for it. Nothing like meeting an old friend, is, is there? The city was already under Zenobia's control. I had to admire her efficiency. Renato shivered at the thought of Zenobia at the mercy of the interrogators. Could he really turn her over to them? But this was war. It wasn't meant to be pretty. Oof. I think I missed something here. Oh, hello. A battle will happen here. It was good to practice your moves, thought Renato. Keeps you limber. <laughs> oh. It actually does. <laughs> you know, let me actually go up and see if there's... I can't do that. Okay, so there's been a battle here. Right oh, wrong sword. Right oh. Gogglers. Bernardo hated gogglers. It was almost impossible to sneak past them. If one didn't spot you, another one would. Okay, so I guess there's two of them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am boned. I am fucked. Um I just fucked myself. Uh. Yeah, I just fucked myself. You blinked. There we go. Let's bugger out, shall we? Real fast. There he is, waiting like nothing in the so, world. What's this plan of yours? Use me as bait, said Lapino. And he outlined a slightly complicated plan that involved geese, a net, setting the farfare a little bit on fire, Lapino dressing as an old blind toad, and Renardo hiding inside a monstrous watermelon. What could possibly what go wrong? <laughs> what? Thought Renardo. <laughs> Right, whatever. Oh, this is gonna be fun, said Lapino, as he ran to go set up his marvelous plan. If I craft a sword now, it's gonna be really short. Yeah, 
no gems? No. I really have nothing yet, and I probably won't find anything. Renata Just felt a little better. That's what I needed. Hello? Okay, it's one of those. Okay, right. everyone Ow. took some hits Renato felt dubious about the whole plan with every step he was waiting for it all to go horribly wrong. But against all odds, Napino's idiotic plan worked. Zenobia's ravens ran off after the geese, the net dropped, and Renato jumped out of the watermelon and put his sword to Zenobia's throat. Renato, she said. Are those new scars? They look good on you. You never return my velvet jacket. It was my favorite. You look stupid in velvet. Oh, what does an imperial princess know about style? Oh, get a room, you two, said Latino. <laughs> but the fleet was coming on fast, so they put Zenobia on the Farfarer and took her east over the Nexus. She'd vanished from Swordful School, from his life, without even saying goodbye, without ever telling him she was the Emperor's adopted daughter. Ah, Lapina was right, Renato thought reluctantly. She knows things. She recognized his look. You're taking me to the interrogators, aren't you? She said, wide-eyed. And then she jumped, with horror. Renato saw Zenobia plummeting. Then he saw the Nexus below them. Cats always land on their feet. <laughs> oh, she'll head for the Imperial outpost, yelled Lupino. You have to catch her. Right, of course. Sure, we never know, knew how far up in the fourth fair they were, but... Yeah, true. Cats always land on their feet, as far as I know. Unless you drop them for like 10 centimeters. Cats can run faster, but foxes can run longer. If he ran, he could head her off before she reached her minions at the outpost. Well, well, he did love a good chase. May have gone the wrong way, but hey, hey. Wait, hold on, what's that? <laughs> Who needed bridges anyway? Wrong sword. Back at it. So catch this kitty cat, and then we'll <laughs> see what else we can do. All right, I'm kind of lost. Not really. Let's get in there. What kind of planet? Or whatever it is, is this? I have no idea, really. No. <laughs> Get out of there! Damn it! Do 
do it. And level up. There we go. Where the hell am I? <laughs> am I now? Uh, hello. Can I destroy this? Yep. Wait. Then I can destroy these too. go there, but I guess I did. He was closing on her. He could smell her fear. He tried not to think about the interrogators at the secret base. What did they do to her? Maybe it didn't have to end that way. Maybe he could talk to her. But after all, there were worse things the Imperials had done to friends of his. Well, Peter died, so I guess that's... It would be fun to throw healing fruit at people. <laughs> they wouldn't know whether to be mad or not. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's not true. But should we be angry, or should we... Hey, you can actually... Hmm. Hmm. Well, that one I can actually open fire swords, but I guess the burning sword from the south was terrific for barbecuing sausages and ravens. How do I switch swords? Okay, mouse wheels. Okay. I actually like this one, but let's try this new sword actually. There we go. Bernardo reached the outpost. The Imperials there were no match for him. Soon after, Zenobia limped up the path. When she realized he was already in front of her, she didn't even try to run. Oh, you left without saying goodbye. Again, he said, oh. please. You're enjoying this a little too much. She said, shaken. Oh, spare us the chit chat, would you? said Lapino as he shackled her hands so she couldn't throw spells. She knows all his plans. All the way back to the Farfair, Lapino nagged Renato about how the interrogators would pry all the intel out of Zenobia. How that would turn the tides in the imminent battle. All they had to do was take her to the rebel's secret base. Renato didn't like to think about what the interrogators would do to her. Couldn't he just talk to her? Okay, so what would you do to an old friend that is on the enemy's side? Hey ho. Maybe friendship can actually 
idea was this. pulled away from the Nexus, Bernardo could see the fear in Zenobia's eyes. I can't take it to those creatures at the base. He whispered to Lupino. Ah, you've gone soft. Soft in the head. We captured her for what she knows. I'll take her to the mountains. Tell all the horrible things the Emperor's done. Yeah, believe me. She'll turn. And he turned the wheel. The hell you will! Shouted Lupino, and he grabbed the wheel back from him. The two of them wrestled for control of the ship. It shot off like a mad sparrow. Suddenly, Renato was falling. Well, shit. That wasn't good. When he came to, Zenobia was standing over him. Why didn't you take me to the base to be interrogated? She demanded. Do you know what's left of people they interrogate? This is some trick, isn't it? To make me fall for you again. Well, I won't. Oh, go on then. Scurry back to your ravens. I can't stop you. But strangely, she didn't. As Renato set off to find the Farfarer, she followed him keeping just out of sight of the ravens. Well, that might be... I need more materials, thought Renato. You may actually, but I just wanna check. I have still have none. I am still hurt, though. That's sad. Is there any boxes? So you're just gonna stand there, huh? Right. So, what's this? He felt like Tarzan. <laughs> does, does he even know what Tar Tarzan is? No, boxes first. Uh, oh, okay, I can switch. There we go. Uh, I think this one actually. Ah, shit! Fuck! That's my first death. Well, shit. Uh, oh, I should get more health. Run as fuck. Okay, now now I can't into the circle. I'm gonna die all the time. Uh, yes, gonna say that. Bad idea. Yep. And now now I got into that circle. Yep. Damn fail circle. Look, it's not personal, but your mother wears army boots. On her ears. Maybe now would be a bit easier. There, finally. Yeah. And that's the fruit I was looking for before. Welcome in handy afterwards. <laughs> Renato wondered what would happen if he jumped. Would he be rescued by an emergency platform? Doubt it. <laughs> Doubt it so much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what difficulty I'm playing as, or playing on, if, I, if I'm even playing on a difficulty. Uh, anyway... Oh, 
Okay, so green is open by any sword. There we go. Already Renata knew more than he ever had. But about what? Where do I actually want to go? I can't go in there. What does this do? Besides this, I don't know. That's a nice double parry there, actually. Where do you take me? Way up, I see. Where did he go? There you go. Well, that's all of them. As Renato stopped to sniff the wind, Zenobia came up. Still mad. Did you really think you'd just talk me into betraying my father? Oh yeah, sure, that was exactly my plan. <laughs> then why aren't you even talking to me? Because I've never talked you into anything in my life. They're gonna court-martial you for letting me go. He caught a whiff of the Farfarer. Wet rope, tar, and a cask of Scoble ale he'd spilt last year. It was that way. He... Smelled that? <laughs> wow. If I had that kind of smell, jeez. Going we far up. Oh, jeez, man, I am a nine. I would be uncomfortable. Wow. Oh, my goodness. We miss a lot of shit here now. Numb. Calaveras really didn't want company, did he? We missed a lot of stuff. So I guess I should have taken the uh, small bird. Or the one, the other Renato one. Renato wondered if he should have taken Zenobia to the rebel base for real. Maybe she wasn't playing him after all. After the bleak talk about the Emperor's dark secrets. Was regretting his suspicion. Hello. Sure enough, the Farfarer had crashed in some rocks. There was no sign of Lupino. Zenobia caught up. All that kid stuff in sword food school. Look, you know, look, that's the past. We, we, we're adults now. We, we have duties to other people. We have destinies. What are you talking about? And you are the most arrogant, slow-witted, light-fingered, mercenary, moral, reckless... Run away with me, said Renardo, and he realized he meant it. Just like that, she demanded. I will, if you will. So she kissed him. What? And it was the best kiss he'd ever had. They held hands as they boarded the Farfarer. Renato felt light-hearted, like the winds that were playing the rigging like a balalaika. But Lapino, I need to go back to Lapino, he said, suddenly realizing he could have been captured. A prisoner. He's not. How did you know? He saw something in her eyes he didn't understand. He fell, didn't he? Into the abyss. She looked away. Wouldn't answer. But then a bolt smashed through the Farfarer's keel. The broken ship plummeted out of the clouds. Oh. Alright then. We'll see how this goes. Maybe it becomes a short story after all. Uh, but then again. What would have happened? <laughs> 
Well, the best thing with games is that you can replay them over and over. Looks promising. Bernardo picked himself off the deck. They were alive. We have to get to my private ship, she said. Do you trust me? I guess I must, he said. You go on ahead. Clear the path, she said. I can't kill my own soldiers. He wanted to say that he didn't trust her, that he had no idea what he was getting into. But he had no choice, did he? He was following his heart. That's what it means to be a hero. You had to follow your heart. I guess so. I mean, in any hero story I ever heard, I've always been, you know, the good and not the bad. But I wonder if a hero can be bad. I guess they can, but they will be villains instead. I won't be able to enter it, can I? Hey. So. hey, I'm a Firefox, thought Renato. <laughs> oh, wow. Never thought that one coming. Unless you know Firefox is some. Yeah, you know what it is. I don't need to tell you. Uh, let's see. Could you well, that? He always wanted to do that. 150. How lovely. That would help me. That will help me a lot. Don't know why. Um. Yeah, I'm taking all these screenshots that I can possibly find some. Okay, let's drag you towards me and then I'm gonna just go after this other guy instead, I guess. But not that close that I actually would congratulate myself, but where the fuck am I now? Once he found a Superman issue number one in mint condition in a jar he'd broken. He planned to keep breaking things until he had the whole series. <laughs> Is this just because I'm breaking boxes? <laughs> Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Hmm. Why do I get away from here now? Probably the way I came, yes. On a fleet? This thing really needed a roof. What is this for place? Jeez. I started out on the ground and now I'm in the air with a shitload of stuff. What is this? Where am I? Everything. Is this? Yeah, that's rain. I thought it was. Did you guys ever learn to swing ducks? Oh, well, too late. Don't be shy. And we level up. How lovely. And I can't get through here, I guess. Nope. 
No, I won't. And we're here again. Oh, hello. I think that's... If only I was half this good in real life. <laughs> no, I can guess about swing, but you know, prolong? No. No, 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 no. It won't happen. Uh. Still, where am I? I have no idea. I mean, wow. Shit. Don't be shy there. Okay, we're getting close to dying again. There was a radiance at the end of a long, dark tunnel. Mother? He thought? Um, no, we're not gonna die really right now. Hello? If I have a special ability, what am I going to do? You know, like a quick getaway? Well, I can have problem healing myself up now. Oh my goodness. Is shooting these to catch their breath. It was strange to be so close to her. What are you thinking? He asked. I'm trying very hard not to think. Me too, he said. Up ahead, he could see the thin silver of Zenobia's personal ship. It looked fast. They would leave all this behind. Do they mean the little one or the big one next to it? I have no idea, really. No healing fruit, and I guess I won't see many. He was sort of yanking his own chain, wasn't he? Yeah, kind of. I'm dead. Okay, I'm gonna check those two, I guess, because I broke a certain things and something else. Uh, yeah. Sword around for hours. Oh, it works outside combat too. How lovely. Oh, 
forgot about that that I could. Of newly remembered knowledge. Needed to focus. I tell you what I need. I need to I have a level up twice, I think. So. Oh shit. Ow. That was done. Man, these ships are giant gigantuan. The platform used a hybrid propulsion system fueled by anti-gravity and wishful thinking. Wishful thinking. <laughs> I get a feeling that's just like hope or something. Uh, okay, how do I actually? I bet there's quite many pop. I just grabbed that thing. Oh, really? So if I kill anyone else? So I kill everyone and that guy will be... Well, shit, um... Well, that's what happened when I tried... Well... You can't be best all the time, even if some people say they are. Okay, I killed it. Not kill, but you know, I got it, got the shit away quite accidentally, I think. That's the wrong guy I threw that. Hmm. Yes, I am this bad. I mean, <laughs> yes, I am very bad. But you know, I like the game so far. It's <laughs> very fun, actually, with their tiny navigator remarks. There you go. Put track of that. I got him. Oh, lovely. As they reached her ship, Renato suddenly felt a sharp pain in his stomach. He was surprised to see a crossbow bolt sticking out of it. Oh. I was going to lead the Empire to a secret base, said Lapino. But no, you had to screw up my plan because you still got a thing for her. Renato stared at Zenobia. The kiss, was it real? She said with a look of indescribable sorrow. She gestured and said an arcane word, and Lapino went flying into the abyss, screaming, I'm telling your father! <laughs> then she knelt down to cradle his head, and her paws felt very oh. soft and warm. Oh. Okay, that was weird. He could have sworn he'd just died. Instead, he was on the Farfarer, sailing away from Ubar. And it was still burning. He'd fled burning Ubar years ago, hadn't he? And now he was back there. 
Had all those years fighting the Empire been nothing but a vision into the future? A useful vision, if it was true. He learned something. Lapino was a traitor. Renato had suspected there was something wrong with the mad rabbit. But now he knew there was malice behind his goofiness. Right, so... A hero always follows his heart. That kind of hero I am. How lovely. Uh, that's story number five. Oh. Righto. Lapino is a traitor. New location, Desert Temple, okay. Okay, it goes like this. Alright, so what's this? Uh, truth 1 of 4 on luck. Righto, uh, view story. Let's do Lupino, found that, that. I can let you read actually, you may not actually <laughs> like when I read, uh, but anyway. So I guess he died? Well, that, that sucked. Well then, I... He'd made this. bad choices. But now, when the real battle came, he wouldn't make those choices. He wouldn't make the same mistake twice. The book's pages began to flip backwards huh? towards the beginning. And he realized that his adventure was just beginning. The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Or so a scholar in the mountains had told him. Surely the weapon that banished the lost gods could defeat the Emperor. Also, a temple had risen out of empty desert. The Emperor had brought the Sky Ripper pieces up out of ancient burial by his obscene rituals. Could this be where the Iblis Stone was hidden? Someone better get it before he does, thought Renardo. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course, Renardo had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion. But could Renardo really leave an old friend to the Ravens? Hmm. I think I can go for this one right now. The island was windswept desert. No one went there except ostriches and ostrich hunters. The Iblis Stone. It sounded ominous. It sounded powerful. If the Emperor was searching for it, it must be dangerous. And so, Bernardo went ostrich hunting. All right, so I'm gonna let this thing save, and then it's gonna be all that for today. And that kind of rammed it, didn't it? So, all right, so there Every we go. Every child could sing verses about the Sky Ripper, but ancient codices held hints of other things: a stone that ate souls, a ruby that drank blood, a jewel only a righteous man could give away. Were all these things the Iblis Stone? Long hidden in a buried temple. Another ancient item that was only resurfacing now. Drawn up from the deeps by the Emperor's horrific rituals. It was shameful there ain't footsteps in the uh, Have sand. Have you ever but... felt you were just going around in circles? Bernardo felt like that. Ha 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 
Okay, I hope y'all enjoyed. <laughs> Must definitely have him properly well for a long time for. I see you all. <laughs>